Hey everyone, Leather Teen Scala here, also known as Stairs, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Before we get started, I wanted to mention something. The flashing lights in this are actually going to kind of be excessive. Um, I initially thought that this series could be safe viewing for somebody that does have issues with flashing lights and seizure warning stuff, but the more I keep watching through this, this game, it's almost impossible to put up flashing light warnings and actually have it be, to some degree, safe content for you guys to watch um, if that is something that you struggle with. So what I'm saying is, it would probably be best if you skip this series for now if flashing lights are something that you do have trouble with. I'm really, really sorry. I can leave a link to another playlist for you to watch that has no flashing lights right here. And again, I'm, I'm so sorry guys, I did what I could. But for everyone else that's able to hop aboard this train, well, let's get back into Chrono Trigger. case at least. And just divide it that way. God, the amount of like unsafe like seizure shock level stuff in this game. <laughs> Uh, in my case, I run by holding down B. I'm using a Xbox Afterglow controller for this. So, in my case, I have to just hold down B. But, you mean, like, run from the battle by holding down Eleanor? Can't? Can I? Can't run away. Oh my god, that is an option! Alright, well, that's... Alright, cool. It's good to know now. Because you know how it is with, like, the older games that don't have any kind of tutorial. You just, like, kind of pick it up as you go. And I... I wanted to remain as absolutely blind to this as I could be. I didn't want any spoilers, like, at all going into this, because, like, at least for your guys' sake, I wanted to be able to produce my most genuine, actual reactions to what's going on, and, you know, when you accidentally look up too much, that happens, but sometimes that also happens when you go to just look up general mechanics. Alright. I gotta stop hitting the wrong button! Every time! Um... Gonna... It's not worth the shelter. Where? There's a tutorial house in the first area? <laughs> I swear I walked around the first area, though. Uh, okay, you're gonna need it. Everybody else is fine. And we'll just do mild tonic skit. You up to speed, you up to speed, and then a mid tonic for you. Yeah, it clears up everybody. And also save. Oh, the mayor's house. We, thank you. Well, now I feel like a dunce. Because I was like, no, I'm just like really excited. I want to go see what's going on. And I like didn't explore as much as I guess I could have. Can I, can I just? Let me go. Can't run away on this one. Well, it's good to know that that's an option. Bye, birdie. Man, Isla's the best. <laughs> one feather. Okay, so I already opened that, so I shouldn't have to do that at... 
I'm glad that that dropping on my head, by the way, doesn't inflict more damage. Like, for example, in the way that, um, Ozzy's traps from the overworld would inflict real damage when you're in Magnus's mansion. Man, if I had known, though, about the extra dungeons, I'd have totally just done the, the steam one. Cool. Uh, we're gonna just do... That. And I don't have another attack that hits everybody, so... I'm gonna just do a cat attack from you, sis, so that fully takes out one of you, and then we can just focus on the other one. I didn't just straight up kill you? Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. At least everybody else will be easier to take out. Jesus, Isla! Your your base hitting for almost 700, girl. Where have you been all my life? All of this game. So, you are here at last. And this is it then. The showdown. Today, there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the reptites? Or you silly apes who end up ruling the world? Um... Nobody. It's actually going to be the robots by the end of this. When we, when you get really far into the future, it's just going to be the robots. Isla Strong. Nope. I was too in character for that. Isla. Still no. Strong, survive. Isla Strong. Isla, fight. Isla also apparently have concussion because I cannot speak. Nice to see that there's chests, though, for me when I kill her. No, I, I wouldn't- I wouldn't characterize that as a lovely voice. You hear that lovely voice? Soon you'll become the best of friends. But, no, you just- didn't you just dip? Well, at least Isla didn't just run after her this time. Sarah Topper. And what's this? Pants or something? Alright, so that should be a new item for Isla. Cuts fire by 50%. Yeah. Even even that is not a hundred percent. I don't know. Is this gonna be better than the miso mail? Because it does decrease my overall, but it's cutting fire damage by 50%. If they're giving this to me, I imagine that I'm going to have to fight somebody who does a lot of fire damage. So I'm going to put it on... Oh no, sorry. That's not it. The Ceratopper's the hat. Excuse me, while my brain just apparently resets. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the, the solid play here. And then... Yeah, okay, that's... We'll give... We'll give you the rock helmet. Everybody else still good on what they've got? Okay. Actually, let me try something real quick here, because I can probably give you the gold, and then... You could probably take the- yeah, you can take the rock. And then... How do I not have a gold helm for you? You know what, whatever. Oh yeah, this, um, allow me to just do this real quick. Save state. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Nope. No. Nope. 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 We're going home. Ugh. I'm not... I'm not too familiar with 
Toriyama. And Zoids is clicking, like... Do you mean like Zoids is in Zoidberg? Or do you mean like Zoids is in like... I'm sorry, my... This is like my first day off in like literally a week. So my brain's just like not clicking with all the things. Red star. Fall. Stain the earth red. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, so I... I was a Naruto kid growing up. Um, oh, I just keep turning down my volume. But my fiance, it was a huge Dragon Ball kid growing up. Like, he's got a tattoo of, like, the Seeker and the Dragon Balls on his arm, and it says, like, just Saiyan. Like, as in Super Saiyan. Um, so he's, like, been showing me through, like, clips or entire episodes. Uh, and we have definitely also watched The Abridged. Which, I, I, multiple times, I just stop and I turn and I'm like, is that more or less the translation of how that scene went? And he goes, yeah. I'm like, this is just, just great. Um, but yeah, I started off as a Naruto kid, and I'm just slowly getting more and more into Dragon Ball. But I have absolute, complete respect for everybody from the Dragon Ball team. Because they're, they're just incredible from everything that I've ever seen them do. Uh, right. Stain the Earth Red. Alright, your highness. I'm like, you're hopping around. Though it may be our fate to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you. Why can't we just, like, live in peace? Like, why? Yeah. His, his portrait does look a lot like Goku. And I've noticed as well, um... Isla's portrait. Isla's portrait looks a little bit like, um... I, I want to say kind of like, like the, the new, the, the girl Saiyans, like Kalifla and them. I gotta stop turning down the volume every time I touch my headphones. Mwahaha. With this black Tyranno, I can finally exterminate those filthy apes. Bad dog. Oh, so she's just gonna be on his shoulder the whole time. So, I wonder... I'm gonna start with this, because lightning strike seems to be the most important. And we're gonna see what does more. Okay, so she's really receptive to electricity. But, he seems like he's solidly gonna be hit by physical. No, not even. So we need to go for her. Okay, we're just actually... Psychokinesis. Okay, that's cool. That's genuinely cool. Alright, we're gonna do... We're just gonna focus on Azela. Okay, so magic attacks seem to be what plays. Teleports a, a rock. Okay, I gotta say, though, that's actually super cool. Alright, we're gonna go back to doing that. You're not gonna be helpful in this, so... I'm gonna make you heal up Chrono, actually. And then you should have Ice. Okay, so Ice 2 does hit them both. So I'm gonna go for that. And then... Then I should give Marl... Actually, I should give Chrono Haste, but... If I want to be sneaky. Okay, so that's how he's, he's healing himself. We're gonna do kiss on you. I'm gonna take the risk and do haste. Yeah. We're gonna do. I'm gonna take that risk and do haste on actually Chrono. Because that seems like the best idea.
I'm not sure if that's gonna speed him up any quicker, but... Heal yourself. Yeah, this, this, this somehow seems right. Cure, Isla. So the other option was just to heal up, or to make Marl haste. No, Marl! I like that they, like, have her animate in through, like, different... No, I want... That. Heal you up, and then the next play is... Ice... I don't know if I should Ice 2 or Ice 1. Do ice two for now, and then lightning one. Okay, so general HP down. Okay, but she's dead. So now what? Hmm. Removes defense and storing power. That seems like a great time to use this cat attack. Um, I'm gonna do ice two again. We're just gonna hit you with everything that we got and just go for like the most amount of damage we can do in one hit. And then I'm gonna try to focus on saving Marl for heals. Five. You guys are fine. It's cool. Uh, cat attack again. Marl should probably use Aura for... Um... Aura on self. Let's do Spin Cut. And then cat attack, basic attack. Marl should do aura again. Aura, and then we'll do Isla do base attack. So that's seeming like the smart play. Two. We need to heal Chrono up a little. Just get as many attacks in as you can, and then we'll make... We'll make Marl... One. I really should have put haste on Marl. I think I'm gonna do that quickly. Chrono will live through a 400 attack. That's- that's the plan, anyway. I hope. I hope. Zero. Alright, I should wait and see how this goes. Oh god. Um, kiss on yourself. Cure yourself. Let's just do lightning, see what happens. And then we'll cure Chrono next. Basic attack. Kiss self again. Cure. No! I wanted to cure Chrono! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that was. It was a great use of my MP. Thank god I, like, put up the. the heal quickly thing. It's gonna be base attack. And we're gonna pass along the kiss to you. Cause that's seeming like that's smart. Oof. Okay. Here her. Everybody else just attack. Yeah, so the, the smart plan was to take out Azela first. Okay, just wait. 
Um, lightning again? Okay, in which case then, you should put a mid ether on him. And do ice with you. Lightning again. And then we'll give Marl more ether. Okay, remove defenses. Do the mid ether on yourself. And just base attacks across the board and we'll go from there. Five. You... It's okay. Base attack. Four. Okay, so the timer's getting quicker. We're just gonna do a base attack on you because we still have haste going on you. It's not like a lot, but it's something. Fingers crossed haste lasts a little longer. Three. I'm gonna cast haste on you again, just because I'm not sure how long it's gonna last for. And I would rather take the risk of passing it now this way I can heal everybody when he does explode. Then run the risk of needing it and being essentially just screwed. It's my hope anyway. One. It's fine. Marl will heal up enough or get enough stamina back. That's the only way I can view that before it's time. It'll, it'll be fine. Zero. His attack animation takes so long, though. Alright. Basic attack. Okay, so that's not gonna mean much of anything. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Then we'll make Chrono use electricity again. And then we'll heal Chrono on the next turn. And for you right now, the best play is to just keep healing. And then we'll heal Chrono. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect! We got this! It's in the bag, right? He's only got how many more hits that he can take. Alright, well, you're gonna have to heal. I'm just gonna wait on Isla. Oh wait, he's doing the face thing. So hopefully, no. I was hoping with the, him doing the face thing if that meant that he was getting ready. Nope. Just have to keep... I can't wait for her to join us so that this way we can give her some sort of some magic key thing. Pyramid ether, and then I'm just kind of balance it out, we'll pass it around. Okay, cool, perfect. We have some time. And just, just keep going through it. Alright, so based on the idea of rule of threes, I should only have to be doing this at least one more time. In theory. No guarantees. Oh, I should pass haste on her. Check. Haste. And while I should make the others keep attacking, I'm going to use Marl then to do aura on Chrono. So he definitely survives the next attack. Oh! 1,800 experience points, 25 tech points. Isla learned Rock Throw. Now we have Ice Toss. Ooh. 
And cube toss. Falcon hit. Falcon hit. Hi there, Zayla. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I can't wait for the next episode of Chrono Trigger. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, notifications. Let me know how you're feeling about this. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.